<laughs> Hello, it's a Miles Headlock here with all the latest Glow gossip. And if you're wondering why I chose Glow as my home, it's because as a computer, I, I know a great program when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Item. The Heavy Metal Sisters went berserk at the amusement park recently, chasing people out of the funhouse with their torch and chainsaw. Said Spike, we just wanted to make it more like home. And speaking of home, today I find myself with the delightful Debbie debutante. Welcome. Thank you, Sir Miles. Tell us, Debbie, what was it like growing up wealthy in Connecticut? Well, actually, Sir Miles, my family wasn't rich at all. In fact, at one point, it got so bad that all the servants' clothing looked ragged. I see. But I always kept my smile and remembered the words of my father. He always told us, rich or poor, it's nice to have money. I suppose then your family has all the latest high-tech equipment money can buy. Oh, of course. Uh, then you must be familiar with my programming. Oh, no. Mummy only shops for the best computers. Well, goodbye. Where did he go? I bet he's on the TV in the limo. And now, from the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, another thrilling action-packed hour of GLOW! Show, Mountain Fiji gets in the ring against Matilda the Hun. Americana battles the Soul Patrol. And Tina Ferrari takes on Dementia. And this week's main event, a 21-woman battle royal. American Extinguisher Company. This is David McLean from Glow Production. I was wondering if you can help me. You see, Spanish Red is always screaming. She's got fire in her veins. And I was hoping you could put it out. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Sir Little Fiji at 300 and 
50 pounds, Mel Fiji. In the ring, I have fun, except when I wrestle Matilda the Hun. But I can beat her without a doubt. She's nothing but a sauerkraut. Yeah. <laughs> Special rules that do apply to this bout. This is a strap match. Both wrestlers will have a strap tying their left arms behind their back, thus only able to fight with their right arm. If for any reason their left arm is removed from that strap, they will be disqualified. Now the strap. Oh, what a dirty trick. You just can't trust that Matilda. I'll say, I lent her a quarter and then she gave it back to me. The eagle was missing its feathers. Well, right now, Matilda's trying to clip Mount Fiji's wings. She's got her over the ropes and she's dragging her towards the corner. Oh, what a kick to the stomach of Fiji. Well, Matilda told me she was going to be very generous to Mount Fiji and give her a lot of money from her country. Oh, really? Yes. She said she would make sure Mount Fiji left the ring with quite a few German marks on her. <laughs> well, Matilda's got her in a German headlock now, and she's squeezing her head like a giant pineapple. Yes, Matilda can really dole out the punishment. <laughs> Karate chops Mount Fiji's throat. Matilda does horrible things with her hands. I know. Did you ever hear her play the piano? Right now, it seems the only music Matilda wants to hear is Mount Fiji's swan song. Fiji manages to shove Matilda into the rope. Great hip toss! I don't know how she ever found Matilda's hip. Look, Hollywood and Vine are trying to help Matilda get her sling back on. But it doesn't matter. She was disqualified as soon as it slipped out. I'm afraid Matilda is going to take advantage of this situation. But the match is over for Matilda. Doesn't she know she can't win? You don't know Matilda. Her wrestling motto is, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. I don't believe it. She's got the strap tied around Mount Fiji's throat. Matilda's a terror when it comes to tying things. Why, she even ties her shoelaces into little Nazis. Well, Fiji's in there fighting for her life, and the referee can't stop these two big giants. And Matilda is becoming unglued. That's it! She's free! And so was that head toss. <laughs> Looks like Vine's going for a ride. And now Mount Fiji is giving Hollywood the spring treatment. Now that's what I call spring cleaning. Oh no, Matilda's got little Fiji up on her shoulders. And she drops her. Little Fiji is down. She seems to be very hurt too. Poor little thing. Oh. Fiji 
he's got a hold of the whip, and the referee can only look on as these two square off in the ring. They're both trying to get a hold of each other. With all the love handles on Matilda, that should be easy. <laughs> there it is, the strength of Mount Fiji, lifting Matilda off the ground. I know elevators that couldn't do that. Matilda slipped right through her hands. Still beating her with that strap. Fiji's determined to throw Matilda out of the ring. And she does it right over the top rope. Oh, right, Mount Fiji! Little Egypt takes her garbage out every night. How do you know that, Sir Miles? Because it stinks. <laughs> What's the door doing? She's not going to let them introduce Americana. Well, I've always said that Americana needs no introduction, but this isn't what I meant at all. And if I know Americana, she's waiting in the dressing rooms for her introduction by David McLean. But all that time, the Soul Patrol is running wild over Little Egypt. I'm afraid that referee Blance is earning his stripes today as well. With the door trying to change those stripes from black and white to black and blue. And out he goes. One thing I've noticed about the Soul Patrol. What's that? They know how to get their kicks. Then they ought to get a kick out of this, because here comes Americana. the door right out of the ring and she's gonna work on Envy. The referee is back in the ring. He officially starts the match. Well, that must be the shortest match of Envy's career. Little Egypt is back in the ring with Americana and now both teams are whispering to their partners. The Soul Patrol told me their strategy before the match today, you know. And what is it? Pain. That sounds like the Soul Patrol. Envy's got Americana's leg. Ooh, she's trying to crush it. And Envy's got Americana's body slam. Well, there's only one thing worse than being thrown down like that. What's that, Sir Miles? Ah! Missing an elbow smash. Oh. <laughs> and now, Americana wants to teach Envy something about wrestling. How do you know that? Well, first she's showing Envy the ropes, and now she's making her go over her lesson. A door kicked her right in the jaw. She's dancing on Americana's ribs now. She slams Little Egypt. I guess that must be slam dancing. Americana's up, but she's hurt. I think it's her hip. I should have known the Soul Patrol would hurt her there. How could you know that? They say when it comes to hip, there it. Americana gives the door a hip toss, but it's slow and painful. Well, she's got a chance to rest. Now little Egypt's coming in to work on a door. I don't know what she's setting up for. Oh, wow, it's a floor-to-floor -floor monkey toss. 
That ought to teach a door to stop monkeying about. And now Little Egypt piles a door into the corner. Oh my, she's setting up for a rollover sit pin. But she slips off of a door's head. It must be all that Afro sheen. Adore loves being in a position of control. I know, she once applied for the job of the department manager. Where was that? At a roach motel. <laughs> that figures. Boy, they play dirty. Adore's stretching little Egypt like a rubber band. Oh, don't worry, she has a way of snapping back. Snapping that back is exactly what a door wants to do. Oh no, it's Envy with those nunchucks. I sure don't envy Envy. They both got a hold of her now. To the rope. Envy and Adora are ganging up on Little Egypt. Here comes Americana to help, but it may be too late. Envy gives Americana a hair mare. Americana returns the favor, but they're both hurt. And you can read the pain on Little Egypt's face. Is that what that is? I thought her mascara was running. tracks with a blow to the midsection. Choking her now. Americana throws Envy right through the rope, but Adore jumps into the action. Adore is quick on her feet all right, but I'm afraid she's not too bright. Oh? Well, last week, she went to the dentist and asked to have wisdom teeth put in. Oh, Sir Miles. Ooh, a door is making this as painful as possible for Americana. Whoa, what a monkey toss. And while a door attacks Americana inside the ring, Envy's got little Egypt outside. It doesn't look too promising. And now a door works the arm of Americana. Remind me never to lend the Soul Patrol a hand. Why not? They'd probably break it off. Americana's got a door. It's time for a little payback. She's looking strong now. She's got her up in the air. Body slam! Excuse me, Debbie. You get very excited for a debutante from Connecticut. Well, just because I come from old money doesn't mean I have old blood. And there goes Americana for the pin, and Little Egypt joins in. sneakers into little Nazis? <laughs> Do musical fish play the scales? <laughs> if thieves stole the policeman's bathroom, would they have anything to go on? <laughs> do, 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 do. Hi, gals. Tina Ferrari here with another tip on 
how to get the man you want. A lot of women are attracted to the men at the office, but don't know how to approach them. Why not start a conversation in the elevator? You're sure to have a captive audience. And who knows, if you push all the right buttons, things may start moving up. <laughs> Can you make a sentence using the word chapter? Yeah. She stayed out in the cold and chapped her lips. <laughs> Dementia, you remind me of the girl who swallowed the dictionary. I tried everything, but I couldn't get a word out of her. <laughs> Amy, the farmer's daughter's family, must be in the manure business. Right, because she sure is for it. <laughs> Waitress! Waitress! Yeah, what do you want? My lobster is missing a claw. It was in a fight. What do you want from me? Well, I want you to bring me the winner. <laughs> Americana has the flag on her mind during every match because she knows she'll be seeing stars later. <laughs> it is a single feature match from Massachusetts, Dementia! Dementia is sure scary looking, and she never talks. Maybe she just has nothing to say. And when she's in the ring, she doesn't seem to know where she is. Sometimes she's right on top of you with her axe, and the next minute she's sitting outside the ring counting fairies. What are you trying to say, Debbie? I guess I just don't think she's very clever. I disagree. You do? Yes, in fact, I think she's cagey. <laughs> <laughs> From Beverly Hills, California, Tina Ferrari! I get what I want, I never lose, cause an offer from Tina's one you can't refuse. Ferrari and Kyle are one and the same, take a swing at me and I'll put you to shame. Oh, yeah. Do it, go girl! Wow, look at Tina. She's so pretty. I wonder what sorority she belongs to. As a matter of fact, I heard her mention her sorority's name the other day. Really? Is it Delta Chi? Beta Gamma Mu? I think she said it was Got a Lot of Dough. Oh. Oh, look. I didn't know dementia like dolls. Yes, you know, dementia makes her own Cabbage Patch dolls. Really? How? She takes her dollies and buries them in the cabbage patch. Oh, that's horrible. Uh-oh. Dementia is reaching for Tina's throat. Wait, she just wants the feather boa. Tina's letting her take it, too. She just wants to wrap it around her doll's neck. Oh, she's wrapping it too tightly. And that's because dementia is not too tightly wrapped herself. Oh! Now she's gently putting the doll down, and Tina wants to start this fight. Ready or not, here comes dementia. Now dementia wants to ask Tina a few questions. I don't know what the question was, but that drop kick looked like a good answer. And now Tina takes off Dementia's mask to fight her face to face. She may want to put that mask right back. Dementia just looks sick. 
She's working that foot. A hair mare, and Tina goes down. Dementia's rushing her. Headbutt to the midsection of Tina. You never know what is going through that mind of dementia's. And that's what makes fighting her so dangerous. Yay, Tina, up with those legs. She's squeezing her hard. And down with those scissors. You wouldn't know it to look at her, but dementia is an interior decorator. Really? I wonder how she did her room. It's all rubber. Tina's using those ropes. Tina's up, and dementia could do anything here. A pile driver, a body slam, you just don't know. A suplex. Ouch, that hurts. You know, dementia is the youngest of five children in her family. You don't mean. Yes, she's the fifth dementia. Oh. <laughs> the crowd is yelling now. Tina's looking tired. <laughs> Tina's stopping the lift by locking her leg around Dementia's leg. And Dementia just doesn't understand why Tina's not going up. Even Dementia's got to understand that one of them can be in the air at a time. Suplex! <laughs> Tina's looking good now. to knock the stuffing out of her now and wrap up this match. You know that, I know that, and Tina knows that. But who's going to tell dementia? Well, dementia may not understand words, but even dementia understands pain. And now she understands gravity as well. She looks crazed. Gosh, it's awful. Dementia should really learn how to control herself in the ring. I know. She always acts very irresponsible. <laughs> Thank goodness the referee took her axe away. I'm afraid dementia is dangerous even without that axe. Well, it looks as though Dementia wants to give Tina a choker. But there are no diamonds in this one, I'm afraid. Woo, Tina got out just in time. And now both girls are getting tired. They're putting out a lot of energy. I don't know what's keeping these two up. In Dementia's case, I believe it's starch in her stockings. <laughs> oh, bad blow for Tina Ferrari. Oh. Tina's really hurting. She better do something soon or it'll be all over. Dementia doesn't know what's happened. The winner of the match, Tina Ferrari! Tina Ferrari, the winner. We'll be back in a moment. Vladimir, what do you have to report? You spent all day trying to gather information about a new type of American music generated by bubbles. <laughs> what do they call this music? A 
a soap opera for Vladimir Kisotov. And I will give you a new job, a Slurpee concession in Siberia! <laughs> Tina Ferrari likes her driving speed and her men the same way. Yeah, both over 55. <laughs> you know how much of me she became success in wrestling? She retired early. <laughs> push her out. Well, they may try, but it's going to take a lot of push to move that mountain. There's so much going on, I've never seen anything like it before. Well, if you've ever seen pictures of a hurricane, then you've got some idea of what's happening here. In fact, it's so busy in there, we're just going to have to call the wrestlers as they get thrown out. Until we are left with one champion. It's crazy in there. Total mayhem. The door's working over Tina Ferrari in the corner there. Envy's helping out Matilda. As of yet, everybody is still in the ring. Boy, there's a lot of action here. Well, at most companies, they have a company picnic, but here at GLOW, we have a battle royale. Yeah. Oh, look at Dementia. She's already out of it, if you know what I mean. A lot of excitement here. Oh, little Fiji was in between the ropes there. Southern Belle's not looking too good. She's getting her bell rung. Mm. Oh, look at little Fiji. Somebody's out. It's the headhunter. Oh, attache. Oh, she saved herself. Back into the ring. Oh, look at Colonel Minuchka. She's having a pleasant chat with Ashley. Fiji in to help. Out goes 
the California doll. Oh, Ashley, she's having trouble in that turnbuckle today. Well, they should get her an aspirin. And Susie's spirit getting bent over the ropes by Attaché. Oh, she plays so dirty. That's what I call getting bent out of shape. Dementia found her way into the ring. I don't know how, though. Oh, there she goes. That's the end of dementia. She probably doesn't know the difference. Oh, and poor Susie's spirit. Getting worked over by three of the bad guys. That big headbutt. Oh, and the southern bell getting pulled in all directions. There's dementia biting on her leg. And we've got chainsaw on the bottom biting the other leg. Tina and Ashley working over attache now. All right, Ashley. But Attaché comes back for more. And Attaché is out now. She's done for the day. And there's Dementia. She was thrown out earlier, but she's still in to help Spike. Spike's got the torch now. She's going to light it up. And Matilda over there beating up little Fiji. There goes the Soul Patrol, both of them in one shot by Susie Spirit. Way to go, Susie. And here comes Fiji holding Hollywood and Vine. I'd know those faces anywhere. <laughs> And Ninochka's got a good hold on Little Egypt. And out she goes. Aunt Fiji having a private party. It looks like Angel is invited too. <laughs> Narrowing down here. Ashley's had a rough time this match, but she's still hanging in there. Palestina and Chainsaw are really ganging up on her. Oh, and there's Spike in the torch. I hope she doesn't plan to do anything with that. Oh, right, Tina Ferrari. Good move on Ninochka. Palestina's grabbing a bite to eat. Oh, my goodness, poor Ashley. Tina Ferrari, now the only good girl left in the ring. And she's at the mercy of Palestina and Ninochka. Oh, what mercy? Oh. Oh, come on, Tina. Doesn't look like there's much hope here. Tina's got to do something quick. They're taking turns at her now. I think she's about had it. Oh, they're both ganging up on her, taking one leg each. Hold on, Tina. Oh, poor Tina. She's in trouble now. Now that Tina is seemingly out of it, the question is, who will survive? Nanduchka or Palestina? She's still in. Whoa! Palestina's making a move. That sure surprised. 
cries Colonel Ninochka. And she's back for now. Tina's getting a chance to rest now. Oh, and she's coming back, too. Tina caught a second win. It looks like Minochka's in a lot better shape. Tina looking a little dizzy there. And she's on to the rope. And out goes Minochka over the top rope, leaving Tina Ferrari the champion of the Battle Royal. The winner! show business types running around and I finally met one. He told me in just a few hours he would have my name up in lights if I went back to his motel with him. Well, I did, and he had my name in lights all right. He wrote it on the bulbs in his room. <laughs> I'll keep call calling with all my prayers. Love, Amy. Oh, wow, beautiful picture of you. Isn't that? Yeah. Ooh. Hey, but where's Mountain Fiji? Hey, ooh. That California doll is a real product of the beach. I know. If you put your ear to her head, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> Coming up next on TV 15, the president is angered by his overly agreeable staff, and his sister-in-law feels trapped in the White House on Mr. President. Followed by Women in Prison at 7.30. Then at 8, it's the new adventures of Beans Baxter. And Second Chance at 8.30. That's all tonight from Fox, here on TV 15. Dina carries so much sand in her pants. I know, she's liable to be declared a public beach. <laughs> Oh, what is it, you kidding? David, what would you do if you saw Hollywood with another man? Get his eyes checked. Oh, you! <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> 